Hey guys, welcome back to a series of unfortunate events. As you can clearly see, I'm in a different area in the house. That's because I had previously recorded the last part of um, the Let's Play, and then I did the the previous one, the one that we're doing right now, and I forgot to hit the record button. So I had to go back and redo the first part again and make it up to this part. So we have the fruit flinger. Now we have to take care of the spiders. That spider looks less than pleasant. Use the fruit flinger. <coughs> it down. Okay. Well, now she's angry. Ugh. Violet's invention should do the trick. Ah. 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 There we go. And he crawls up. And then we gotta take out these spiders before they get near us. And then he's gonna come back down again. And then you just gotta just dodge these. That's all you gotta do. And then when he's open like that, that's when you attack. Yep. And this has unlimited ammo, so you don't have to worry about finding ammo for it. Not, not, not really a hard boss to deal with. Oh, that was, that was cheap. I wasn't expecting that. And it automatically homes in too, unless you have to get enemies that are up high. But other than that, it really shouldn't be a problem. And he should be done. That was the last one. Our chores are finally done. Oh, really? I thought I was the one yeah, who decided second, when your chores were finished. My theater troupe will be dining here this evening, and you will have dinner ready precisely when we feel like eating it. I must leave now. Prolonged exposure to children makes me ill. None of us know how to cook. We don't even have a recipe. Maybe we could ask our new neighbor, Justice Strauss, if she has a cookbook we could borrow. It's so nice to finally meet you children. I'd love to help you, but my fellow justices will be arriving soon for a meeting, and I must get this library back in order. M maybe we can help. Oh, my goodness, would you? I'd be so grateful. My most important books are scattered about and must go back in their alcoves. You can tell where each book belongs by matching the title with the design of its display. Please hurry, children. My guests will be here any minute. Good luck. All right. So we have to put the books back where they belong. Before we do anything, we are going to save. And also we're going to collect the puzzle pieces that are in here. All right. Klaus, do you remember the game you and Dad used to play? Let's see how quickly you can put each of those books back. Make sure that we haven't forgotten about any of them. Hey, okay. now we must go up here and get the rest of them. And while we're up here, we are going to take a look at each one of the alcoves. Nope, not here. Amazing athlete. A 
I'll need to keep looking. Talented tourist. I'll need to keep looking. Splendid stegosaurus. Nope, not here. Pleasant painting. We're gonna go down here. There's a book over there. All right, we're gonna go back down. Amazing athlete. So we know where this goes. So you are gonna be timed for putting the books back. Bless me! Sorry, I sneezed, so I shut the mic off so it wouldn't blow your eardrums out. And I think I hear another one coming on. Oh, my allergies have been bad, guys, lately. It's been bad. Pleasant painting, so I know where that one went. I think... No, it was actually over here, I believe. Pleasant painting. Oh man, was it here? I'll need to keep looking. It was over here, I believe. Right where it belongs. Aha! Perfect. All right. Let's go get another one. Are you killing it? Talented tourist. Talented tourist. It must go somewhere else. Majestic moon. It must go somewhere else. Glorious garden. Oh, I think I know where this one goes. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Come on, Klaus. I know you can do it. All right. So we messed up. All right. Let's try this one. Splendid Stegosaurus. Splendid Stegosaurus. I think this one was up here. Hurry, Klaus. There we go. Check that one off the list. Perfect. All right. So this one. I'll need to keep looking. Talented Taurus. So this was where that one was at. Glorious, Glorious garden. garden. It must go somewhere else. Majestic moon. Here we go. A perfect fit. Let's see what's next. <sighs> Talented tourist. Talented tourist. Nice. All right, we have one more book left. Majestic Moon. Majestic Moon. Went over here. A perfect fit. Awesome. So we got all the books taken care of. Children, I don't know what I would have done without you. You've put everything away exactly where it belongs. Oh, and just in the nick of time, I have a wonderful cookbook tucked away on the top level. It's a little hard to get to with all the construction, but if you can find a way up there, you're welcome to take it with you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have guests waiting. You go up top. Hmm. I've got an idea. If I had a book strap and some sort of pull cord, I could attach them to that fire extinguisher to invent a device that will help Sunny jump. Ah, smarty pants, Violet is. Alright, so we need to grab this. Fire extinguisher. 
We also need to grab the book strap, which is over here. And we need to grab the pull cord, which should be somewhere around here. I thought at least it might have been around here. Actually, no, it's over here. Pull cord. I'll start with the extinguisher. The pressure it releases will give Sunny a boost. Next is the book strap. It's what we we'll use to attach the device to her. There we go. This will allow Sunny to turn the device on and off. There we go. If I do say so myself, I call it the baby booster. Awesome sauce. So now Sunny's got something that she can use, and that's going to be proven to be very helpful. Okay, so we have to go over here. Um, here we go. Generally, it's better for babies to remain safely on the ground. Sunny Baudelaire, however, was no ordinary baby. Be careful for these. Wait for that to come back down. And then come over here and then bite this. Push this over here. Go back this way. Wait for it to come back down. All right, we need to grab that though. Bite this. And there we go. Head back to Count Olaf's and start looking for ingredients. Turn to Count Olaf's, go through the front door. So, you've decided to waste your time rummaging through old books next door. Funny. I thought I told you. Start making dinner! But we were looking for... Blah, blah, blah! Do you know what it's like to have to act on an empty stomach? Can you even imagine? This is the pantry. This is where the food is kept. This is where you should be looking. Now get to work! It looks like that switch opens the door, but none of us are tall enough to reach it. Hmm. I've got an idea. We'll need a tripod, a piano wire, and those snowshoes. Alright, new invention coming up. So let's get the items that we need for that. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but one of my favorite parts of this game is the uh, the dark backgrounds and just just how eerie everything looks. All right, so we got the snowshoes. Now we're gonna come out this way. All right, we're gonna need a piano wire. And that's over here. Ugh, it won't budge. Then how will we get at the piano wires inside? Wait a minute. I've read about this. It's a vibraphonic deluxe. 
Once the most prestigious name in Grand Pianos. What happened? The piano suffers from a fatal flaw. The parts are so precise and delicate that certain melodies can create acoustic resonance. Acoustic resonance is a term which here means powerfully intensified sound waves caused by vibrations inside the body of a musical instrument. Klaus, that's perfect. If we can play the right melody, we can blow the lid off and get inside. So let's get to it then. I'm a little rusty, but I'll give it a try. So you have to hit the notes as they come in range of the of that circle. Now you have to do it two more times after the initial one. And it gets faster, so I may miss some notes, but I'll try my hardest not to. A trait that I have is I'm pretty good at knowing my controls. I just missed a note. Wow, it's a failure. Now you're getting the hang of it. Now it's gonna get really fast here, so be careful. Wow, that was good. Perfect. All right. Let's take out a wire before anyone sees us. All right. So we got that. Now we have to go find the tripod, which should be on the second level, I believe. We saw it. I think by the bedroom. So let's go get that. Oh no, don't tell me we got a problem. Sounds like we're gonna have a problem here. Oh, ow! Oh. Goodbye. Tripod! All right. Let's start with the legs of the tripod. These will give me the height that I need. Next is the piano wire. When applied correctly, it will provide rotary motion, allowing the legs to rise and fall. Okay, so let's figure out where it goes. I think it goes on the bottom. No, it goes on the top. Next there we go. My boots. I'll attach the legs to my boots so I can use them whenever I choose. And last, the straps from the snowshoes. These should hold it all together. There we go. Ready for right here. I call them the steady stones. The steady stilts, ladies and gentlemen. This is Violet's second item. Alright, so let's go back. West hallway. I think the main room was this way. Yep. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go back in the kitchen. Stilts are useful for circus performers, people with very long arms, and those wishing to reach things they could not ordinarily reach. Try using violet stilts now. I'm gonna grab that to fill our health back up. There we go. There we go. I thought you had to hold it. Alright, so. How can Count Olaf expect us to make dinner without any food? Let's go through the cellar. Ugh. From the color and smell, I'd say it's such a chlorophenyl sodium hydroxide. What does that mean? It means you don't want to touch it. We'll need to find another way across. My stilts should work just fine. All right, so. Puzzle piece here. Noodles. So we got the noodles there. Stilts activated. All right. Ugh, this goop is gross. Doesn't look very pleasant. That steam looks hot. Yep, be careful. Because that steam can hurt you. The plan is to go around it if possible. Oh. I don't know if that's gonna... If that's actually going to do anything. All right. All right. All right. Still deactivated. All right. Hmm. Let's do some looking around and see. Okay, so we got the anchovies. Oh, yep. Remember, she doesn't like rats. Alright, let's turn this. Alright, we're gonna switch to Klaus now. And we're gonna take out these rats. Ow. Ah. I'm ah. sorry, but you must try that again. So, we have to redo all that if you die. I don't even think it's necessary to clear out the rats. I just think you got to avoid them. All right. Well, let's not forget to grab this stuff before we go any further here. Stilts activated. Let's try this again. Ugh, this goop is gross. I bet it smells disgusting too. That steam looks hot. Oh. That was close. Alright, let's walk around that. Okay, that one's not going to do anything. Woo! Alright, stilts down. Anchovies, check. And we hit this. Alright, let's get out of here. 
I wonder if they've been affected by the goop. Oh! Ow! Ow. Ah, thank God. All right, more rats. Ugh. Ow! I need to find a way to help I get through. I need health. That's what I need. Clear, Violet. You can get through on your stilts now. All right, garlic. All right, we're gonna switch to Violet now. Stilts up. Ugh, I've never smelled anything that disgusting before. Silts down. And then you have Sunny go through the tube here. Okay, be careful. By a rat. Despicable creature. Goodbye. Gotta push that so it blocks that. down here. Hmm. We gotta block that somehow. Which means we gotta go back up. Kill this rat. Come down here and push that so it blocks this. And then obviously you can't go that back that way so you gotta come back up this way. Grab that. That was close. Yay! Good job, Sonny. Goodbye, rat. Tomatoes. Okay, so we need uh, a few more things. All right, it's still it's time again. Ooh, that was close. Another secret unlocked. Olives! And then, 
then, after they dealt with the rats, I released the spiders and made them get rid of those too. <laughs> oh, Olaf, you're so clever. Ahem. <clears throat> Dinner is served. Putinesca. What did you call me? It's pasta. Pasta Putinesca. Where's the roast beef? Roast beef? Philistines! You vex me to my very core. We slave for our art. Have you not seen our suffering? When a group of international actors pauses for nourishment, they expect and deserve better than a pile of mushy chum. They expect and deserve, as the Greeks would say, rote de boeuf. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. That's not fair. Klaus! You all saw it. The plate slipped from my hand. That plate did look slippery. I felt a gust of wind. Did someone leave a window open? You monster. Lock them away. I grow weary of their miserable faces. Klaus, are you okay? No, this isn't our home. We can't stay here. You're right. But we're stuck in this room. How will we get out? Good. Count Olaf's henchmen are on patrol. You stay here, Violet. I'll look for another way in. Alright, guys. That is going to be episode two. In episode three, we will try to escape um, and not get caught by Olaf's henchmen. So, like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys later. Peace.